Coleman, are you excited for the competition today? I am. So Johnny, how's life going? Life's going great. We're out here at the best burger stand in America. I'm about to eat me a good burger. So what, what makes it the best burger stand in America? Uh, you know, you know, you know, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Mm -hmm. He went around and ate at every restaurant in America that sells a hamburger. There's no way. And he determined that this is the very best one. One shoots is about to take a bite of America's best burger. You get this on camera. Best burger. Oh my gosh. Let's get, let's get an up Look close. Look at that. Up close. Look ASMR. All right, all right. Let's get some ASMR of that. Dude, there's not even any salt on these. Oh, they're unsalted. That's a party foul. What are, what are the fries? A one. Oh, here you go. Salt. Coleman. <laughs> made a bunch. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. You're watching Samuel the Pro. Welcome to Hellfire's Motorcycle Shop here in Laurel, Mississippi. We got plenty of bikes in here in the showroom. They're all looking very fresh. This bike right here is going to run you 12777 which is not a bad price for this beast of a motorcycle. Now I do not know much about motorcycles myself but I can tell you that they do look cool and they sound cool. Welcome to Northeast Jones. I have my friend here, what's your name? Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold. So, Matthew, first question. If you could have dinner with anybody in the whole world, alive or dead, doesn't matter, who would you have dinner with? Zendaya. Zendaya. Easy. It's a good answer. Next question. How is your current relationship status? Um, single. 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 All right, well, see all those girls out there? And so today we're here with CJ at yep. Northeast Jones, showgirl competition. All right, so what is your relationship status, CJ? Oh, what do you mean by that? Like, relationship status is do I have a girlfriend? Yeah, do you have a girlfriend? You do? Yeah. All right. She's beautiful. She's awesome. She's not in show choir. Oh, she's not? Why not? Because she can't sing. That's a I can't sing either, and I'm still in show choir. She can't dance either. Are you guys excited to be at the NEJ Classic? Oh, I'm pumped. This is my favorite time of year. What do you think of our fine school? It's beautiful. You know, you've got some um, very nice, large. Wow. Very nice yard work out in the front. Thank you. Do you think it smells? Be honest. Be honest. The like, bathrooms I, are very poorly taken care of. Oh, yeah, that is an obvious. Thank you. We are a public school. Okay. Video screens are not going to work. I'm calling. That's it. They didn't work. They didn't work last night. I have to be honest with you. Inside information, it didn't work last night. So interesting. What's your guys' theme? Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, interesting. Nerds. You play soccer? Do it. Do a soccer move. Soccer move. Yeah, do a soccer move. So like you kick yeah, the ball. Like, What's your go-to like dance when you score? I'm a manager. I don't oh, hold on. Come close, camera. Come close. I found something much more important in this interview. Push and P. Push and P. Are you pushing P? Oh yeah. Did you know that we have a million subscribers on YouTube? No. Subscribe. Well, now you do. Subscribe to Samuel the Pro. And make sure if you subscribe, you go watch Unboxing the Thunder Tumbler. Unboxing the Thunder Tumbler will always be the, the best, best video, video that we've on ever the done. Freaking market. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the but, actual vlog. Yes. yes. <laughs> Did you know that we have a million subscribers on YouTube? We do. Are you serious? Yes. Serious? Yes. We just hit this. We just hit it. Go look. If you guys not subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Unboxing right now. the Thunder Tumbler. Hey, this is a big deal, <laughs> yes, Samuel the Pro. My Who's your celebrity crush? Um, <laughs> Megan Fox. Oh, good choice. Hey, who's your celebrity crush? Celebrity, Megan Fox. Bro, <laughs> why is everybody saying that? Megan what, Fox what? is the most attractive Okh Okay, what are your reasons? What are your reasons behind this? She's a nice lady. What, what's what's your favorite part about her? Her personality. Tell us about your relationship status. Um... <laughs> I'm single. Oh! If you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Um, I would help out my friends. Really? Yeah. Why, why so nice? I mean, you know. That's a good cool. answer. Because I wouldn't I would, help out my friends. I would want my friends Whoa. to do the same for me. That's good stuff. Tell us about your relationship status. We're getting straight to it. Uh, I'm about to be engaged. About to be engaged. About to be. Yeah. It's a nice. Girls, a million people are gonna see this. Who are you getting engaged to? What? Who are you getting engaged to? Uh, her name is Emily. Emily, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So if you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Uh, Buy a ring. 
some Buy land. Buy some land. Yeah. That's nice. You gonna farm? Yeah. What you farming? Whatever I can. Whatever man. you can. Yeah. All right, good stuff. If you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Uh, give it to my mom. Who's your mom? You know, no questions asked there. That's the most respectable <laughs> answer we've gotten all day. Gibson, yes, how are you feeling about the competition today? I'm feeling good. You know, we just did solo comp. Felt good. Judge was kind of weird. He like stared at us the whole time. That's but good. What song did you sing? I sang uh, Everybody Says Don't from Anyone Can Whistle. Okay, I don't know that song, but I assume you sang it well, so. I feel like I did. I all hope right. so. But well, look we'll forward be to a good competition. We're we'll looking forward to seeing you perform tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Aiden and Morgan, what is the funniest thing y'all have seen here today at the competition? Um, well, for starters, neither Aiden or Genesis brought money, so we went, <laughs> to, the, we went to the vending machine, and Genesis tried to use Apple Pay, and the vending machine had bars. Oh, the, yes, the that's a different story, too. And she tried to use, like, the vending machine, it had bars on it, and that uh -huh. was funny to me, because it means that somebody at least once uh -huh. has punched the, <laughs> punched the glass of the vending machine and grabbed the snacks out of it, okay. to the point where it became a All problem. Right. Ladies and gentlemen at home, Today we are here with our fine guest, Mr. Matthew Arnold. He is a member of the prestigious school here at Northeast Jones, and today he's going to tell us about the history of the school. Mr. Arnold? Um, yeah, the school is great. It's not the original school. The original school was built a couple, like maybe two miles that way. It actually burned down. And it's really ironic because they put a fire station right there. Tragic. So very tragic. So, so um, the entire school was built, and then. A couple years later, Hurricane Katrina came through and demolished almost everything. <laughs> and then they built the PAC. It's the newest, the newest building to the, uh, the campus. So they're called the PAC. Yeah, the Performing Arts Center. Yeah, yeah. Well, we also have a Performing Arts Center. We call, we call it, it the, the PAC. PAC. The PAC. Yeah, it's, okay. It's, fire. it's not the PAC. Yeah. 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 PAC is just a. I guess it's a little bit the of a mouthful. Thing, yeah, just is. like Northeast Jones. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't like quite like Jackson that. Academy does. <laughs> we just call it Nedge. N E J. Nedge. 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 That's a fun fact, kids. Nedge. 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 Viewers at home, Nedge. you should come and visit the fine establishment here at Nedge, and you can see people like Matthew. And what grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. I'm 10th grade. Right. You are? Mm -hmm. Like, spray a little part, right? <laughs> and you just, you just brush. Excellent. And then, get to where you want it. You and that kid, that kid, that is how you do your hair. That is how you do your hair to look just like Brian Eubank. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my good friend, Mr. Willis Thickpin. Mr. Willis Thickpin and I, we went on a hiking trip this summer through the New Mexican wilderness, and Willis wore the same pair of underwear for two weeks straight. Willis, do you have anything to say about this? <laughs> Um, it is true, but um, it was it, it it was not it was not fun. I'll tell you that much. No, we you had experts underwear. You could have changed it if you wanted to. I could have, but why didn't you? I was too far gone at that point. I was way too far gone. I, by, by the by the point by the point where I wanted to do it, they were like, "You're too far gone. You should just you don't even need yep. to." Good stuff. <laughs> We just finished performing at the Northeast Jones Show Car Invitational. Um, so as far as lighting, we did great. As far as video, we did great. John Luke, how was your guitar playing? Tonight? The band did great. I I could only hear the bass when I was performing in my in-ears, but other than that, it was great. Ashton, come here. What did you think about the band's performance tonight? It was okay. We had issues with people talking in the mics. Yeah, that's that true. But it wasn't that bad. Clayton, how did you think the performance As far went? as Encore is concerned, we have Clayton here. I think, yeah. I think we did the best we could given the circumstances. Um, the crowd's not really lively, but there's nothing to do with that. So you just kind of make the best of what you have at the moment. Of course. Of course. Did y'all see Did y'all see Encore show? No. Y'all didn't? Encore. Yeah. Jackson kept me Encore. Oh, well. Anyway, it was a fantastic performance. It was. And hopefully we will see you again soon at the finals. We made it and to the Performing Arts Center. We're sitting in here waiting on awards. We just watched the acapella groups perform. Obviously, there's been a lot of good groups tonight. What do you? What, what is the best one you've seen so far? You think? Well, me, I've been the best. Oh, you that's think my, so? performance. my performance has been the best. I, 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 I guess, but you know what I'm saying. You, what other groups have been the best? Okay, what's your group? Encore. Oh, well, encore. Obviously, encore. Yeah, yeah, let's go. No, no, no. You get your unbiased opinion. <laughs> um, like they've all been great, really. You think so? I really do. And I'm not a judge, but you know, um, I think the top five have been incredible. I haven't seen this last group yet, so all right, yeah, I can't all judge. Right. But I, right. I will say that every group that I've seen tonight has sounded great, 
Encore. Every group that I've seen tonight that I saw in prelims has really stepped it up tonight broad. What did you think about Brandon? I mean, I thought Brandon's performance was just fantastic. Yes, yeah. It's yeah. great. Really cool. Yeah. There have been a lot of good groups tonight, so what do you what do you think has been the best group? Um, you know, I think we had a really good show, and I think Brandon had a really good show too, so we're just gonna have to see what happens with uh, with the awards. So. so what was your favorite part of Brandon's show? Uh that's hard to say. If, it, if we're being serious, probably with our clothes, but if we're being funny, probably with our boys' number because they have the count. Dude, their boys' number was just, it was just on point. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the fabulous performer, Mr. Thomas Earl. Yeah. He did an outstanding job tonight performing as Aslan in the Jackson Academy Encore show. Please tell us your thoughts about tonight's performance. So that's more, it's, um, first or second? Both. Both. First one, I don't think we got into character. I thought we were Encore, not the Narnians. So That's facts. that kind of that kind of that kind of made us like die yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So like on the inside or on the outside? On, on the inside, uh -huh. that reflected on our We're outside. We're here at Northeast Jones High School, the Northeast Jones Classic 2022. I'm standing here with the one, only, the legend, Katie Shores. Katie, it's great to have you here with us. What do you think of tonight's performances? I think that we've had a lot of energy in finals so far. That's always what you want to see coming into finals. You know the kids have had a long day. You know they're tired, but you want to see them dig deep, pull up their bootstraps, and give the best that they've got. And I feel like every single group has done that tonight. It's been so fun. All right. Any uh, any predictions on tonight? Um, I have to say, since I'm not connected to anyone at this uh, as a judge or anything, I can say for my former children, I want Jackson County to take this thing. Wow. However, however, Brandon put up a huge fight once again in finals, and it's going to come down to them. No. Okay, predictions, you have it right there. We're going to see what's going to happen coming up soon. All right, so we're here tonight at Northeast Jones High School for the Showgirl competition. What have been your thoughts so far tonight? Brandon Brio been the best. Yeah. 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 What makes you say that? Because this is my people. And, I mean, <laughs> as y'all saw, what is? What have y'all thought tonight about so far? Like, what have you thought about the shows? Fun. Oh, I love them. Just fun. Right. You can tell there's a lot of hard work. What was your favorite one? My 